everyone, welcome. I am happy to discuss today a new integration between HPE SimpliVity and Aruba switches designed to simplify and automate deployment. My name is Richard Greenwalt and I'm a SimpliVity technical marketing engineer. And I am joined by Reddy Bupati, who's an Aruba technical marketing engineer. And we're gonna talk today about this new integration and illustrate what it is and how it can benefit you. So I'd like to start with, uh, an explanation of what is HPE SimpliVity and what value it brings. So to do that, I'm gonna start with an evolution of hyperconvergence, a review of this. So many years ago, we had what we would see here in terms of a legacy IT stack. We had dedicated servers with hypervisors uh, installed on top of them. We would have high availability shared storage and the corresponding storage switches. We would have separate hardware for backup and deduplication of storage. We'd have hardware to optimize the WAN if we were sending data and backups across a wide area network. Uh, we'd have uh, different uh, hardware for a cloud gateway, different hardware for SSD array and storage caching. And on top of all this hardware, uh, we would have to, uh, an IT administrator would have to install and operate backup and replication software. So there's a couple of things here. First of all, this is uh, very, uh, there's a lot of different parts here. It's expensive to purchase outright. And then also uh, there's a lot of different parts here, which means it's complex to manage. Uh, we might have a different user interface for each one of these pieces of hardware. Uh, and what happens if one part breaks uh, a few years down the road, we would need to make sure that any new hardware that would, was going to replace it can integrate and, uh, and is compatible with all these different hardware pieces. So a lot of moving parts here. Um, and after this, there was a development towards uh, integrated systems. And so what this was, was it was, uh, compute networking and storage integrated by a single vendor. So you don't have to worry about uh, interoperability. You don't have to worry about uh, physically plugging and cabling them together. They arrive as one unit and they're guaranteed to operate together. However, I'd like to call your attention to everything below the dotted line. So the compute networking and storage are highlighted in this box, but everything below the dotted line, the backup and dedupe, the WAN optimization, cloud gateway, SSD array, storage caching, and the third party backup and replication applications uh, are still up to the user to integrate. Then there was a development towards hyperconverged solutions. This is a large part of the market right now. It's growing very quickly. And what they do is they integrate compute networking and storage into a single modular building block. This simplifies things. Uh, if you need more storage or you need more compute resources, you just add another uh, node that's highlighted in, in, uh, in blue here. But also it's still up to the customer in these situations to add your backup and deduplication, WAN optimization, everything you see below the dotted line, including the backup and replication software. And this is where HPE SimpliVity is different. Uh, all of that functionality is integrated in a single modular building block. Uh, we offer built-in data efficiencies where data is deduplicated and compressed before it's ever written to the disk. Every SimpliVity node has integrated backup and recovery software. So if there is an unexpected outage, we can recover, uh, recover our data very quickly uh, as a result of the data efficiencies. And the backups are policy based. So I do not have to go in and back up virtual machine by virtual machine. I set up a policy and that single policy, which you can set up very quickly, uh, may back up thousands of virtual machines. So this is all of this functionality is integrated into a single modular building block with HPE SimpliVity. Um, let's talk a little bit about the data efficiencies because this plays into uh, how uh, HPE SimpliVity offers uh, very efficient data storage. And it also explains how uh, SimpliVity is able to rapidly recover very large virtual machines. So what we have here is kind of a block diagram view of our compute, of our hardware down at the bottom, specifically the storage, persistent storage. And then up at the top of this slide, we have our virtual machines, which are running on our hypervisors. And in between, we have this data virtualization platform, or DVP. Uh, this consists of two different layers, a presentation layer and a data management layer, which you, which you see here. And um, 
every time a virtual machine writes data to the disk, you see it here, uh, the VM writes the data, it's registered with the data virtualization platform with both the presentation layer and the data management layer. Uh, this uh, recognizes that this is brand new data and this is represented by the pattern on this block. Uh, so we do need to write it to disk. Uh, the data is compressed and is actually written to disk. So there we have only unique data is written to the disk, but all data is written and registered to the data virtualization platform. So here we have another virtual machine writing this gray, gray block down to data. This is new data, so we cannot uh, deduplicate it, but we can compress it. We write it to disk. And then same thing over here on the third virtual machine. It's brand new data. Uh, we compress it, we register it with the data virtualization platform, and then store it to disk. But what happens when we start having redundant data written to disk? So uh, you see this gray block here is now written by the first virtual machine. Uh, it's registered with the data virtualization platform, but we've already stored that data to disk. So it does not need to be written again. It does not need to take up more space on our storage. We just need to uh, increment a counter effectively to say more than one virtual machine has access to this block of data. And same thing here with the, uh, the pattern or the unique block uh, over there on the right-hand side. It's already been written before to disk. We do not need to write it again. So what happens when you start having a lot of data being written to our disk? You see a lot of blocks dropping down here to the data virtualization platform. It's all being registered and SimpliVity keeps track of it, but substantially less data is written to persistent storage. So you see a lot of data there in the data management layer and substantially less uh, in the persistent storage. And fundamentally, you're going to see here shortly that uh, SimpliVity offers some very good data efficiencies when we talk about how much storage SimpliVity saves. And then also, we're able to uh, back up and recover very large virtual machines very quickly. This is great if there's ever an unexpected outage. It reduces uh, RPOs and RTOs, and it can get you up and running uh, faster if there ever is an unexpected outage. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, the, this one pattern block of data was written 10 times to the data management layer, but we only have to store it once in the persistent storage. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Reddy, who's going to talk a little bit more about the integration with Aruba. Hey, thank you, Richard. So, so we are going to continue uh, the demonstration on the second video. Thanks for watching. See you in the second video. Mm -hmm.